If you're willing to set up an automated subscription system inside your Discord server, then this video is going to be perfect for you. This video is going to be a full walkthrough of how to integrate your Discord server with a platform called WAP to set up a fully automated subscription system inside your server. Meaning whenever they purchase a membership, they'll automatically be granted access to the paid areas of your server, or if they ever cancel, then their access will automatically be revoked. Now WAP has been one of my channel partners over the last four years. So if this isn't your first time watching my content, there's a chance you've seen a video of this style before. However, I always like to post an updated video whenever new updates come out to the platform. And thankfully WAP has really streamlined the entire process of getting everything set up. So it's so much smoother and easier and quicker than ever before. Now, before we dive into it, you might be aware that Discord does actually offer a built-in subscription system on their platform. However, it has a ton of cons to it. And some of these cons literally might make it unusable for you. To list off a few of the main cons, one of the biggest ones is it's only available in the US. So if you're watching this and you don't live inside the United States, then you can't use Discord's built-in subscription system at all. Secondly, they charge a 10% fee compared to WAP's 3%, and that doesn't include any of the payment processing fees, which I believe are 2.9% plus 30 cents for every transaction. And if you're watching this and you actually don't plan to integrate Discord and you just want to utilize WAP to host all your content there and set up your community over there, they actually just this past month removed the 3% fee. So the 3% fee that WAP takes only applies if you integrate a Discord server or a Telegram. If you don't do either of those, then there is no fee in terms of a platform fee for using WAP. They do still have a payment processing fee. However, it was actually lowered from 2.9% to 2.7% this the past few weeks, and they are no longer completely independent of Stripe. There's now multiple different payment processors that are used via their new orchestration system. Now, another big con for Discord system is if a user is on mobile and they want to subscribe to your uh, subscription system in your server, then you have the user has to be on an iOS device. If they're on an Android, then they simply just can't subscribe via Discord's built-in system. However, for the iOS users, if they do want to subscribe via their phone, they will get hit with a 30% upcharge that does not go to you at all. It strictly goes to Discord for them to cover Apple's App Store fee. And there's just a big lack of features. They don't have promo codes, affiliates, or just a lot of the other really useful features that WAP offers. Discord system is really just pretty bare bones. Now that's enough comparing the two. Let's jump into actually how to get your WAP integrated with your Discord server. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure is you have a Discord server at least set up and started. I do already have a couple of different areas for VIP members. So I'm going to show you how to set up and I have the roles created, but I will go through that after we get the WAP set up. The first thing we're going to do is get our WAP set up and get the bot added into our Discord server. Now let's go ahead and get our WAP actually set up. So at the top of the description, you will find my affiliate link, which does give me a small kickback from WAP if you sign up using it. When you click that link, it should take you to this screen here where you can click create your WAP. Now, once you do that, the first step is going to be to actually create your account. So if you don't already have a WAP account, be sure to just go ahead and create one here. I already do. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account and then cut back to the video. Okay. So I've signed into my account. After you create your account, you should be greeted with this screen where you can create your business. So we're going to click continue. You're going to be asked, two questions. The first one is which model best describes your offer. We, since we are set, this video is based on setting up a monetized discord server. We are going to select that we are a paid group. Now the next question is going to be which industry or niche best describes your offer. So whatever niche your server and community is based off of, be sure to select that here. I'm just going to select social media just for the case of this tutorial. And my server typically relates to my social media content. You're then going to be asked what country you're in. So go ahead and select the country that you live in. And then lastly, you will create your business name. For me, I'm just going to call it Gesture WAP Tutorial. After you get your name, go ahead and click Create Business. And then once it loads, you will have your new WAP store fully created and ready to go. So now that we have our WAP set up, before we go through and create any products or anything else, we're going to go ahead and get our Discord server integrated. So we're going to come over to the App Store over here on the left side of the screen, and we're going to add the Discord app. You should see it towards the top of the list here. If for some reason you don't, just come up here to the top and type in Discord. All we're going to do is go ahead and click the blue add button. It will prompt you if you want to use their built-in chat feature instead. We're going to just continue 
with Discord be for the sake of this video. After you do that, you're going to be greeted. It's going to ask you what products do you want to connect? We're going to just click done for now because we're going to set up our products after this. You should now have a Discord app on your WAP. So all you need to do is come to configure Discord. And this is where you're going to actually connect it to your server and get the bot added in. So all we're going to do is click connect Discord. This will take us to a screen where you're going to be able to add the bot. So you're just going to scroll down and select the server that you actually want to add it in. For me, it is my 2025 tutorial server. Click continue and go ahead and authorize the connection. Now that we have the bot added into our server, there's a couple of things we're going to want to go ahead and do inside the Discord server to make our life a little bit easier when we go back over to WAP. The first thing is we're going to go ahead and set up all of the roles for the level of access to the server. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up two different levels of access. So for example, if you want to charge a uh, $25 a month for a base level of access, and then $40 a month for a higher level of access, I'm going to show you how to do both of that. If you only want to do one, then you don't have to worry about setting up the second. What we're first going to do is come into our server settings by clicking our server name at the top left and coming to server settings. And then we're going to head down to the roles tab. Once you're on the roles tab, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and create a role or roles for however many different levels of access you want to sell. I am, I'm going to set up two different levels of access. So I have created a VIP tier one role and a VIP tier two role. You don't have to worry about editing any special permissions on these roles. You just want to get the roles created. And then you want to make sure that you drag the WAP bot. If you don't put it at the top of your server, I recommend putting it at the top just to make your life easier. If you don't want to put it all the way at the top, you need to make sure it is at least above but all of the roles that you want WAP to be able to hand out to users. So to make our life easy, we're just going to put it all the way at the top of the server. So it has access to all of the roles inside of our server. And now that we have all that done, we're going to go ahead and click save changes. Now that we have our roles set up, up, I want to quickly show you how to go ahead and set up access inside your server so these areas are locked. So VIP is going to be locked behind the VIP tier one that I was just showing. And then VIP tier two is obviously going to be locked to only VIP tier two members. So the way we're going to do this, I already have the category and the channels created. The easiest way to do this is we're going to set up our permissions on the category. That way every channel inside that category adopts the same permissions and we don't have to update the permissions for every individual channel. So for VIP tier one, we're going to right click on the category and click edit category. We're going to come over to our permissions. We're going to set it up as a private category, and then we're going to click the blue add members or roles button, and we're going to select what roles we want to have access to that area. So for my use case, since this is the VIP tier one section, I am going to give access to the VIP tier one as well as the VIP tier two role, because if someone's paying for the VIP tier two, they also get access to everything that is included in tier one. So I'm going to select both of those roles and click done. After that, I'm going to go ahead and click save changes. We can now see that there's a lock symbol beside these channels, meaning that they're only accessible via those roles that we just input. Now on VIP tier two, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to edit the category. We're going to go to permissions and we're going to set it up as a private category. This time we're only going to select the tier two role because this is the tier two section. So our tier one members are not going to have access. We're going to click done, save our changes, and then we will be good to go. Now that we've done that, we're going to head back over to our WAP store. You should be, if you're still on this configure discord page, all you need to do is go ahead and click refetch roles. And this should then show all of the different roles in your server. Now to keep things a little organized, this discord app that we just added is going to be our tier one level of access. So we're going to click the three dots over here on this, and we're going to click app settings. And we're going to go ahead and rename this to tier one discord access. This is just going to keep things a little more organized organized for us when we go to create our products and we're setting up what apps go to what product. So we're going to rename it to tier one discord access and we're going to go ahead and save our changes. If you are only setting up one level of access, then you can skip this step. But for me, since I'm setting up two levels of access, I'm going to add the discord app again. And then we're going to set this one up to have the second level of access. So we're going to rename this. We're going to click on the three
three dots. We're going to click app settings, and we are going to name this to tier two discord access. Now that we have that created, we can go ahead and drag this underneath the tier one discord access just to keep it a little simplified. And we're going to come over now to our configure discord tab. And this is where we're going to actually link up the roles for these specific products. So the tier two discord access is going to receive the VIP tier two role. So we're simply just going to click add role. So basically what this means is whenever someone purchases the product that includes the tier two discord access application, they are going to receive the tier two role inside your server whenever they connect their discord. Next, we're going to go to the tier one discord access and we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to click configure discord and then we're going to come over here in this time, we're going to add the VIP tier one role. Okay, so things are looking really good now. The next step is we are going to go ahead and create our product. So the products is where we're going to actually create our different level like price points and different levels of access so people can actually purchase from us. So on the products tab, we're going to go ahead and click create product. And the first one we're going to set up is the tier one level of access. So we're just going to come up here to the title and type in VIP tier one. You can add a headline, which is basically just like a, a quick tagline or slogan for that specific uh, level of access. For me, I'm just going to put tier one access. Obviously, you'll want to come up with something that's a little more catchy and creative so it actually pulls people in. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to do this. We're going to set it up as a recurring option and we want to charge $25 a month. Now, say for tier one, you wanted to have multiple different options for prices. So instead of just a monthly, you also wanted to have a three month or a six month all you have to do is click add pricing option, set it to recurring or one time or whatever it's going to be, and then just put in your new price option and select the interval that you want the user to be charged. I'm going to just keep mine to one. After you do that, you're now going to come over here and select what apps users will get access to after they purchase. So this is where we're going to go ahead and toggle on our tier, our tier one Discord access since this is the VIP tier one product. After you do all that, you're just going to come over here and click create product and you are now going to have the tier one VIP product on your WAP store. Now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and set up the same exact thing for our tier two Discord access. So we're going to come up here and click create product once again. And all you have to do is do the same exact thing, but for your tier two level of access. Now, after you fill out all that information, you're going to want to make sure you select the other applications. So this is why we rename them to make it really easy for us when we come to add these apps to our products. We are going to select tier two discord access and then we're going to create the product so now that we've done all that if you want to actually see what it looks like from the user's point of view come over here and click edit store and right now it's super bare bones we don't have any graphics but this is where you can actually go to customize everything in regards to your storefront you can set up uh, multiple different banner images you can come up here and edit the url for your actual WAP store in case it gave you something that you don't really want um, you can come down here add descriptions you can add features so like different benefits that users are going to get. You can connect all your different social accounts, add an FAQ section, all that cool stuff right on this edit store page. And then really the last thing you want to do is head over to your dashboard and you're going to want to make sure you come to the payouts tab and you go ahead and set up, verify your business, which will get your uh, payments, your payment account set up so you can actually start accepting payments. And after you've done all that, you now have your WAP store set up and integrated with your Discord server. So all you have to do is share the URL to your WAP store. Users can purchase your products and then they will automatically get access to the specific area inside your discord server hopefully that wasn't too complicated i wanted to make sure i went in depth on everything so you have a really good understanding of how to set everything up and get it all integrated properly if this video helped you out at all be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing to never miss out on my future discord related content thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one peace